What is up everyone, Mr. Raviator here, bringing you a Sims 4 livestream event, and today you guys, well actually tonight, Get to Work came out, and I have to say you guys, I am very excited about this expansion pack. Not only does it bring back my favorite expansion pack of all time, well pretty much, The Sims 2 Open for Business is basically now in The Sims 4, which... That's, that's the most exciting part to me. I can own my own business, which I would love to do on The Sims 4, and I am going to do it. Um, and that we can actually go to work, do tasks at work, and we don't have to just sit at home when our Sims are gone. This is amazing. Okay, so, in today's live stream slash video, we are going to be going over everything uh, The Sims 4 Get to Work has to offer. So, this is kind of like a first, impre first impression slash first look video. And we're going to look at every single thing you can possibly do in this. So if you guys are watching right now, you're enjoying yourselves, let's start this thing off with a hashtag like spike. So if you guys haven't liked the stream yet or the video, make sure you guys slap that like button. If you did, comment down below, hashtag like spike to spread like awareness for likes all around. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over is right when you install the, the game pack, boom, you got this that comes up. Welcome to the Sims Walk, get to work. You got the detective career, the doctor career, the scientist career, and retail. Okay, okay. And basically, it scrolls through a few pictures here. But you can learn more about each of these, which is very interesting. If you want to study up, you can. It's possible now. So, we did start early, so I hope you guys are excited. Okay, so. Now that we got this all installed, let's ex exit this out. And this actually, I think... Yes, it shows all the creative sim items that are added and all the build mode items that are added. So we're going to go over those first since I feel like that's the most important thing. Then we're going to create just like a fake family and kind of test out some of the careers today. We might not touch on retail because I'm going to actually do a let's play on the retail side of things. So uh, that's going to be launching tomorrow and then another let's play on all the jobs with a whole bunch of YouTubers that will be launching Wednesday or Thursday. I can't, I can't really, I'm not really sure right now. Okay, so let's look over this. It looks like we have a few different out of this world clothing options. It looks kind of like alien-esque. Um, and then we have some new necklaces and bracelets. They all look pretty beautiful in my opinion. We needed new accessories, I'm not gonna lie. And then there's some new guy accessories. Two new necklaces it looks like here. Um, and it looks like these could be guy ones too. Uh, then we get some bracelets and some new shirts and pants. I always love getting new creatives and stuff because it's kind of bare right now. Okay, we got another alien style suit, some new glasses, some new shoes. A sweater with like a tie-dyed tank top underneath. A uh, nice little coat with a zip-up hoodie. Uh, oh, what? This looks like a stewardess. Uh, <laughs> that must be from, like, the police career. It looks like a stewardess outfit. Then we have some new hairstyles, which I can get behind hairstyles. The hairstyles are very little little to choose from now, so this is going to be good. Got some new hairstyles here. Like it. Love it. Uh, got some new jeans and pants and a few more weird shirts and some new shoes. Barefoot, it looks like. Um, I thought we... Unless this is just showing off the leggings... Then we got some new shoes and apron, so this must be if you own a bakery or something like that, you can wear that. Some what looks like sweatpants. Then we got one of these lawn sweatshirts and another like cashier type clothing outfit. Another zip up buddy. Wow, they really added a lot of creative sim stuff, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Look at all this stuff. Now we will look over it when we actually start creating our sims and we will look over the build mode stuff too. But now we know we won't miss anything. So new boots, some new hats. Okay. Oh, we got some new earrings even. Some more necklaces, uh, some skirts, some dresses. Oh, good. Now I can dress my Sims even worse with more options. Okay, so let's see. What else do we have here? Some more hairstyles. So these are some guy hairstyles here. Like it. Oh, this is somewhat like my hairstyle. Not really, but a little bit. Okay, I'll get behind that. Uh, some socks, gloves, necklaces, slippers, more shoes. My God. Oh, new lipsticks. All new shades of lipstick and eyeshadows and face paints. Okay, and eyeliners, and I don't know if this, yeah, this is more shades of lipstick and eyeliner, <laughs> holy crap. They've added so much creative stuff. Now let's look over the build mode stuff really quick, because we will look at this when we start just messing around. So as you guys can see, they've added a ton of build mode stuff. A lot of shelving units and stuff to hold stuff for the businesses, mannequins. Uh, it looks like you have adult male, teenage male, you know, child. Uh, this is really good stuff. Some more cashier options, or cash register options. So I guess you get multiple cash register options from, like, the, the rich cash registers to the poor crappy ones. A lot of signage. Okay. Some new windows. Oh, wow. Okay. And a lot a lot of signage. Holy crap. 
And this looks like the doctor's workout machine to measure your heart rate. So another like treadmill. Uh, this is the cashier bar. Okay. A camera. Oh, I think you can take selfies now. Like actual selfies. Um, look at all this stuff, you guys. Holy crap, we're not even halfway through. Some new furniture. Some new lamps. Oh my god, signage and, and shelving and, and like stuff like that up the butt. Some doors, a lot more signage and chairs. Got even more mannequins. Okay. Uh, some more display shelving. This is really awesome. Security cameras. You put those on the outside of your house and spy on Sims. I wonder if they actually work or if they're just, just decorative. Oh, look at all this stuff, you guys. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I love this. Oh my god, there's so much. There's, there's so much new decorative stuff, too, and, and so much useful stuff. Oh, new computer. A new computer, guys, and a new chair and a new speaker. Okay, so that's all the new stuff in the Sims 4 Get to Work pack. I'm really excited, so let's start off by just making a new game, creating a sim, and kind of seeing what we have to work with. We'll create a male and a female sim and kind of work our way through this. So this is going to be our Get to Work Sims just for the fun of it tonight, our first impression and all that good stuff. Um, so let's call her uh, Busy... Um, this will be busy uh, body, so she's a busy body. Um, now, do we have new aspirations or anything? Uh, don't see anything here. So let's make her. Uh, no, we don't want her to be a deviant. Let's just have her be creative. And yeah, there's nothing new that I see here. That kind of that kind of sucks. I wish there was some new stuff with the get to work. Let's just have her be a popular friend of the world. Now, let's see if there's any new traits. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking, trying to find those new traits. Squeamish, I think that's from the outdoor retreat pack. Um, no, I really don't see anything new in the trait section. Okay, well, oh. that's okay. We don't need new traits. We got so much new stuff. Okay, so let's make her maybe cheerful. Uh, what else could she be? A goofball. She's a really fun person to be around. And let's make her very ambitious. She wants to succeed in everything. She does because she's a busybody. Get to work, baby. Okay, so now let's let's start customizing her. So let's look at some of the new hairs. I wonder if they're going to highlight them at all. That Oh, yep, they do. Okay, good. So these are some of the new hairs, you guys. Let's go through them really quick. So we got all these. Ooh, okay. I like some of these new hairstyles. Ooh, that one's very, like, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus-esque. Okay. Oh, God. Wow. That's got some volume to it. Look at all this hairstyle, guys. I like this hairstyle a lot. This this speaks working class. Okay, so now let's go check out the hats. There are some new hats. Um, you know, we're not going to be using any hats, most likely. This is cool, though, if you want to be, like, kind of a hipster. They come in all sorts of different colors. You can be a total hipster. We can make her a hipster. We could, oh, we could do it, guys. I would, I would definitely do it, but we're not going to. We're not going to make her a hipster just yet. So we do have a new hat. I think that's it. Just one new hat. Um, now let's go to the accessories. See if we have any cool accessories. I know we got some new earrings and glasses. Okay, so here's a new necklace. Okay, so that's... Oh, that's kind of cool. And it comes in all sorts of different colors. So, tons of options. Uh, we have all sorts of different necklaces. And we can just do them in multiple varieties of colors here. Look at this. Oh, this one's really nice. Okay, let's keep scrolling. Oh, we got this. Oh, wow. That, that looks like something Rose would drop off the Titanic. <laughs> okay, let's keep scrolling. What else do we got? Okay, that's it for accessories. Now let's go check out um, the new makeup. Okay, so we got some new eyeliners. These are some pretty intense ones, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Or eyeshadow, I should say, not eyeliners. Okay, so they, they really, like, graph the skin. It's kind of weird, but kind of cool. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I like it. We're gonna go with this one, though. Okay, so now let's go over to eyeliner, which I don't think they have any new eyeliner. We can just go with whatever they are. Okay, so the cheeks. Uh, you can go with your classic blush, or you can go with, like, the alien-style blush. Kind of different. Kind of weird. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use this. Maybe if I'm making an alien or something, you know, you got all these new, like, really, I don't know, scaly-looking blushes. But we're not going to do any of that right now with our... Our girl, we're just gonna keep moving on. Now, lips. So, tons of new... Ooh, you can really go crazy with the new lipstick, guys. Oh, wow, that really pops. Okay, let's keep looking. Look at all these new neon -y colors. I like this. And then these are, like, half lips. Only, like, the center of the lip is done. Okay. I can get behind the lipstick. Now, let's move on to... Wait, did I miss anything here? Did I miss anything new? Oh, I did. I missed a necklace, guys. But I, I don't know if I want that necklace. I really enjoy this uh -huh. necklace. And we're gonna actually make it match her lipstick, so... 
let's let's pop that out there we go some nice pink there okay so now that we have all the face options done and that lipstick is really bright really bright now you know this isn't me trying to make my best sim i'm just trying to show you guys what they all have to offer so let's move see if there's any new style looks i don't think there are i don't, i do not think are, are, are there actually that, that might have been these these actually might have been new these two right here oh yeah they're new okay so new style looks guys as you can see got some really sexy new style looks <laughs> and then we got this one wow she's a classy girl you guys look at that world watch out okay we're gonna put her in this style look for her every day now let's see if there's any new style looks for anything else no nothing in that uh nothing in the athletic nothing in nightwear nothing in party wear nothing in swimwear okay so there's only this for you know for the new style looks but let's go look at everything else okay so we're gonna set her up with some formal stuff so we got this new top here pretty sexy let's exit this little formal filter um i don't want the formal filter get out of here okay so let's look at all the new clothes that the girls have here. Ooh, new tank top here. This is our formal outfit. We're just gonna look through some of these things. Oh, that's Christmas. That's that. That's pretty. I'm pretty sure that's not new. <laughs> okay, look at this. Some of these are from Outdoor Retreat, and we got some gift ones. Okay, so this one I think is is brand new right here. Oh wait, no, it's not. Where's the new ones? I'm I'm going past all the. Okay, here we go. Here's a new one. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. This is another new one. Another new one. What else do we have that's new in the top section? Nothing. Okay, so now we can actually activate the formal filter. Now this is something that was new. So this is very business, business woman like And then you can go to pants. So we got some new pants. And these are like business pants. So we can, we, she can rock out with these business pants. Look at her, she's ready to take on the world. Now do they have new business shoes? That's the real question. I think they do. Okay, they do. You can get these in black. Look at that, she is just, she is ready, you guys. That is awesome. Now, these are only the formal section. So we'll go through the other sections and see if there's anything else cool that we can add. We can add little bracelets to her. She's got a couple new bracelets she can wear. Uh, let's actually exit that one. Okay, and that's it for that. We're not going to have her wear a bracelet. And exit that one. Okay, so now let's go check out Athletic. She's got these new... Are these leggings? Oh, these are leggings. Okay, okay. I was going to say, those don't look like pants. Oh, these are pants. Oh, wow, you can wear these as pants. So if you truly want to wear yoga pants, you can now. Look at that. And now let's get the shirt. I don't think there's any new workout shirts. There really isn't, so I don't know what would go good with this. Maybe something like this. And now there are new shoes, so there's new fitness shoes. Oh, wow, there's a ton of options. So if we wanted to get something going like this, look at that. That's all new, guys. Look at all this. Oh, that's that's outdoor life. Oh, God. Did I not uncheck my outdoor life? Okay, those are all outdoor. Ignore that. Ignore my stupidity. Okay. So, are there any new little accessories? Oh, there's some bracelets. Some leggings. And that's it. Okay. So, now what we got to do is get her some night gear. And I don't know if there's anything new here for night gear. Let's, let's exit sleep. Okay. So, none of these are new, I'm pretty sure. Those are all from the Halloween. Okay. So, this is get to work right here. You're not going to wear that to sleep. Another get to work. Another get to work, another get to work. Look at all these guys. They added so many outfits. This is ridiculous. Okay, so we're just gonna put her in anything to go to sleep, to be honest. We're just we're just playing around today. Okay, so party gear, there's there's not much. There's nothing different really, so we'll just throw her in some type of styled look. Um Okay, now let's go to swimwear. Nothing new in the swimwear either. I don't think. No, there's nothing new. So what we're gonna do is just grab her one of these. And toss that on. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do, make her a little fit, a little thin. Actually, a little less fit. There we go. Now we got our sim created. This, uh, wait, do we have to do anything else? I'm not sure, let me see. Okay, so, she's totally dressed, she's created, she's got her aspirations. So this is the girl, and that was a lot of the stuff the girl sims had to offer, which is cool. I enjoy it. They, they look really good. The new outfits are awesome, so it, it takes a lot of stress off me. I know that much. Okay, guys, we are 15 minutes into this, though, and I've already shut off the girl stuff and everything this thing has to add on Get to Work. So if you guys want to do another hashtag like Spike, I'd really appreciate it. Let's do one of those. So if you guys haven't liked the stream or the video yet, make sure you slap that like button. If you did, comment down below, hashtag like Spike. Spread like awareness for likes all around. Okay, so we're going to add a male sim now. Um... Yes, okay, so what we're gonna do is male sim 
He's going to be an adult, of course. Um, let's... <laughs> we're not going to mess with their walks, really, or anything. There's no need to do any of that. So what we're going to make him is a... Mm, maybe a family-orientated sim. He wants a big, happy family. Uh, now let's kind of make him ambitious. Uh, what else? What else? What else is going to make him work Something. very hard? I want him to be very hard-working. Well, we're going to have him family-orientated. Oh, and good. outgoing, because that's going to help him in any <laughs> career he chooses. Okay, so now that we have him created, let's click this. Are there any new skin colors? I think these are new because of the alien stuff. Um, okay, so let's go here. Are these new faces? <laughs> they look... They, they're they they're above, like, the normal one I usually choose. So I'm guessing some of these are new faces, guys. Um, okay, let's click this one. Where's that normal one I usually grab? Did they had a whole bunch of new faces? I don't know if they did. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now he's grabbed. So let's move on to hairstyles because the men have all new hairstyles as well. We got like a flat top. Ooh, okay. Okay, we got some new hairstyles I can rock with. I can work with all these. Okay, so let's grab this one. Give him like a brown hair. Um, now let's go to facial hair. Let's exit that. We're going to make him a little bit more innocent. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Got a little stubble going. Um, now let's head over to... To his eyes. Where are his eyes? Let's just click his eyes. Give me that. Give me those eyes. Okay, we're gonna go with like a nice aqua blue. Look at I think they got new eye colors. Pink, red. I'm not sure if they those were there before. Okay, I, I don't create a lot of sims. I had a series go for like 170 episodes. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So now that we have the blue eyes created, let's move on to male accessories. So let's see if there's anything new that we haven't seen. So some new necklaces. And we gotta take this shirt off. Shirt's gotta go, bro. You gotta... <laughs> we gotta see if we can get you any new necklaces. Okay, so we got some new necklaces here. Okay. Nothing nothing too cool. Uh, oh, a couple things that are somewhat cool. So these two are probably my favorite. Uh, we're not gonna have them wear any necklaces, though. Now, let's check out... There is makeup, you know, that he could obviously wear. We're not gonna put any makeup on him. But let's click his body. Let's make him a little bit thinner. And a little bit more buff. He's going to be that, you know, that He-Man here. So there we go. Um, let's strain those up. There we go. Now what we're going to do. Oh, this looks really cool. I'm not going to lie. So let's go to Styled Looks for Men. So Everyday Styled Look. This is a new one right here, you guys. And this is also new. So these two are new. Um, they look somewhat like this. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Kind of cool. Uh, now let's check out this one. Looks like he's in the tech space or something like that. Yeah, not bad. I don't really like the style looks though that much, so we're gonna try to find something on our own. So we got this new uh, jacket, I would call it. Another new hooded sweatshirt. That one's actually pretty cool. Some blazers, some vests, a new tuxedo, a new polo, a new ooh, style t-shirt. Ah, this is a very casual jacket for a successful man. So let's try this on and see what kind of colors it comes in. Ah, look at this. Looks like he came from a very rich family. Okay, so he, they, they got some new salmon pants. Some tighter jeans, some shorts. And that's about it for the, the pants for the men. Okay, so nothing too crazy there. But I think we're going to go with maybe something that fits of normal length. So let's just, let's just grab whatever. Okay, so there he looks like he's... I don't know, actually I kind of like the way the pink pants look. <laughs> Is that just me? The pink pants are kind of cool. I don't know about capris, but, you know, they're still pretty cool. I really like the... I like all these new things they added. They're really fun to mess around with. But he does have a really laid-back look. Um, so we got to give him laid-back pants, I think, as well. Can't just throw jeans on the... I mean, like, uh, dress pants on the guy. There we go, jeans. Now let's try out all the new shoes. So there's quite a few new shoe styles, as you guys can see. Tons of them for the guys. There wasn't this many for women. Now let's go with maybe just like a casually grayish white shoe. There we go. This guy's pretty buff. We're going to shrink in his shoulders a little bit. There we go. Okay. So this is his everyday look. That's all the new stuff in the everyday. There are some new accessories such as bracelets. Um, you know, nothing nothing I particularly like. We have the gloves too. I don't know. What maybe it's for being a criminal <laughs> or a cop or something. Okay, so let's go to formal. Are there any new formal looks? Nothing new in formal. Nothing new in running or, or fitness. Or wait, is that new? Is that new? No, that's not new. Okay, and then nothing new in sleep, nothing new in party. 
Nothing new in swimwear. Okay, so all this is pretty simple. Let's go to full body. Let's exit this. So there's some new full body, you guys. As you can see, that looks like a detective. Looks like a cashier. Looks like a businessman. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Let's give him this black one for the businessman. Or maybe not the gray one. He's Mr. Gray from Fifty Shades. Fifty Shades of Gray. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Don't you dare. Okay, so we're going to throw just like this casual workout suit on him. Okay, so there we go. Now sleep. We're just going to have him wear whatever. We just want to get this kind of done. As you can see, there's nothing new on the side, so we're going to just grab some style looks for him. Okay, let's see. What else is there to, to make him look styled? Okay, that looks good. And then swimwear, we're going to go with maybe um, this. Or can we... Actually, we could go with... Did they change these? I swear there was like a pink swimming, swimming suit. Um, let's go with something like this, and we're going to put it on the, the hot pink. The hot pink setting. <laughs> and remove the hat. Okay, there we go. So he's ready to go. His name is obviously going to be Bonnie as the last name. And his name is, um... Uh, how about... How about... Well, we have Busy Bonnie. Let's make him... Uh, we'll make him ambitious. No, wait, not ambitious. Um, let's make him... Energetic. Energetic body. Okay, so there we go. He's ready to go. Let's... Can we edit their relationship? I think we should... Uh, now we could just have them we could just have them date each other. That's fine. Okay, so let's finish this off the bodies good 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 So now we're gonna get into what's there in creative or to create or not create a sim build mode and buy mode Now there is a new city if you guys didn't see this. This is the new world uh, Selector we saw it in yesterday's live stream if you guys missed that so we got Willow Creek which we're familiar with Oasis Springs which obviously familiar with but now this is new mangolia promenade um now this is actually small it's kind of like the outdoor retreat which kind of bums me out to be honest i was hoping for a whole new city that we could like live in you know it kind of gets boring living in the same city uh over and over but this has a few residential lots and one empty one so i'm guessing you could create your own business and put it in this lot or maybe run these businesses Oh, I gotta move my sims in. So you can move your sims in here too. Like, I could literally have them live here by three businesses. But I think that would be bad. So we're gonna just have them move to Willow Creek. Willow Creek's my favorite. We're gonna have them just move into... I don't know. Meh. 16,000, 15,000, 13,000. Let's just have them move in here. Furnished. Why not? There we go. The bodies now live somewhere. And we can go look at those buildings, too. I want to show you guys the businesses, all that good stuff. I want you guys to be able to stop at this video, get to see everything possible, and then we move on. Uh, how long will this be? This is going to be as long as it takes to show you guys all the stuff. I really want to show you everything. So, okay, so now that we have our Sims living here, um, let me see the phone really quick. Uh, plan social event, uh, travel, buy a retail store, so you can buy a retail store. So I don't know. I think you could buy one of the existing stores or buy a lot. Let's let's give it a shot. I, I just want to see. I'm kind of curious what happens with when we do this. Um, so I know you could probably own those three stores that exist, but I think you can build your own too in that empty lot, or you could probably bulldoze one of the lots. I don't know. So let's see. Okay, so she's in search of buying a retail store. Okay, so you could pretty much choose anywhere where you want to have the store. So 119,000, 127,000, 71,000 dollars. Um. Or you can buy this for three grand and build your own tiny little <laughs> shop. Whatever you really wanted to build, you could put it there. It could be a small, like, one-room uh, shop. Because these are huge established businesses. This is the most expensive. This one's giant. Um, we're not going to buy one. I just want to see what we could do. But let's go back here. I, I kind of want to see something. Oasis Springs. Have they added anything to these? Uh, no, they haven't. You can't buy those. You can buy these, though. Put retail there. So if you want to put retail in Oasis Springs. I guess so. If you wanted to technically build a store... Where you lived, we could literally buy this for $2,000, build a store here, it would be considered a retail lot, and people could come and shop there. So, there's that. So, that's the retail store. Let's see what else there is on the options menu here. Um, let's go find a job, because I want to see what the jobs look like on this list and what they all entail. So, let's go check that out. Okay, so, we now have Detective, which has this little green symbol. Uh, which means, I'm guessing that means you can actually go and do the job. So, right now you start off as a detective, you make 20 bucks an hour, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. Okay, so that's decent pay. Um, let's see all the pay. $18 an hour for a doctor, $24 an hour for a scientist. Now, comparative to the old jobs, you got astronaut at 26, which is the highest paying. 16, 16, 9, 15, 23, 
Um, oh my god, 21, 17, 31, and 25. So comparatively, they pay okay. Like, Doctor pays pretty badly, actually. Um, and you work, you have a broken up week. You have Wednesday and Thursday off with Doctor. With Scientist, you have Saturday, Sunday off. And with Detective, you have Saturday, Sunday off. And you work 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. as Scientist, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. as a uh, Detective, and 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. So that's the best hours for a Doctor. Um, so basically, you start as a medical intern, a cadet, or a lab technician. So what we're going to do is we're going to hire um, our little busybody here as a Doctor. Kind of curious there. Okay, so she starts work at 7 a.m., which will be tomorrow now. So we're going to have to be ready Monday at 7 a.m. Okay, so good. Okay, so what does she need? Attend an active work day at the doctor career venue. So basically, we have to attend two days of work at the venue and actually help our sim to get promoted. What's this? This is a new tab. Want to open up your own retail store? If not, you can always buy a retail store from the phone. Yes, buy a retail store. Not now. Okay. So, now that we have her hired for a job, we're going to go to Energetic Body over here, and we're going to have him join a career. And then what we're going to do is just kind of skip through this day. We're going to have him go as a detective. Uh, he'll be working tomorrow, too, then. So, now I kind of want to see how this works when you have two Sims working the exact same time. We're going to just fast forward for now, kind of skip through this. You guys, tell me your thoughts in the comments section. What do you think so far? Uh, from what you've seen about Get to Work. So far, I'm kind of excited. We are going to go over each retail store in just a moment. I just kind of want to get to Monday so our Sims can actually go to work and we can see how it works when you have two Sims at work at the same time. They both work during the same hours. Now, granted, Busy Body, the girl Sim, gets done two hours earlier than Energetic Body, but... They both go to work at the same time, so I'm kind of curious to see how it works when you have two sims there, if you can flip between sims, or if you have to just choose a sim, commit to them throughout that day. Because if you guys look at this, um, like, right there, I actively participate in the workday of the detective two times. So, um, when it's time for the detective to go to work, the option will be presented to participate in the workday. Okay! So now I'm thinking you have to choose who you're going to participate in, and that's it. And that's, that's how it goes. Okay, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited. If you guys are pumped, if you guys are pumped, tell me in the comments, how pumped are you guys? Are you guys excited as I am? I'm super excited right now. This is amazing. Because I'm excited to experience the detective and the doctor. We do have to get someone in the scientist. Maybe we'll just have someone quit their job and be a scientist for a day. I kind of want to see how that goes. Um, I will be doing a Let's Play tomorrow, though, on owning a business. Me and my fiancé will be the two characters. It'll be awesome. Um, and then Wednesday or Thursday, I'll be launching a series where three people live in a house. One's a doctor, one's a scientist, and one's a detective. And it's going to be awesome. You guys will get to see the full careers played out there. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, um, <laughs> we're not going to try for a baby right now, we're just trying to get through this day so they can work tomorrow. So we're going to just go in fast forward mode as I talk to you guys and we kind of just work ourselves through this. Um, then, I, then tomorrow after the day of work, I'm going to show you guys the retail businesses and we can kind of browse those for a little bit. And then on Tuesday, we'll go, so tomorrow we'll go to work with Energetic as a detective. The next day, we'll go to work with uh, Busybody as a doctor, so... <laughs> pumped! I'm glad you guys are pumped. I'm, I'm so excited for this. This is going to be so much fun. If you guys didn't know, each of my new Let's Plays, I'm starting two new Sims 4 Let's Plays, they're going to go 50 episodes apiece, if you guys are enjoying them. And then I'm going to start something different. Uh, I really want to do like an alien challenge Let's Play. I think that would be awesome, because I know as a scientist, you can like fall in love with an alien, go to an alien planet. A lot of cool stuff can happen as a scientist. And I think we're going to do a whole Let's Play on that. Uh, oh, don't worry, guys. If you miss any of this, it's going to go up as a video after the stream. So basically, if you miss anything, you'll have a chance to watch it later. Um, and it'll be up all day tomorrow. I will be streaming tomorrow. I'm going to try to stream a, a nice long first episode Let's Play, probably 40 minutes. Because uh, I want them to stay Let's Play length. I don't want them to be too long and you guys miss out. So they'll probably always be about 30 minutes, but it will be streamed so you guys can enjoy it live or watch it as a video later. <laughs> I'm glad you guys stayed up late with me. I was worried that no one would be here because it's so late. But thank you guys for staying up and being uh, true, you know, <laughs> crazy people. <laughs> okay, so we're just we're just skipping through this day. If you guys didn't know that, we're just skipping. We don't care about these people. We just want to see what happens at work. Uh, okay, so let's let's check. Are they? What's their relationship? Okay, their relationship's pretty good. Um, let's just have them ask a risque question. We're gonna just kind of move this romantically. 
Oh, I keep asking Risky questions. I don't mean to do that. Uh, pickup line. They have the same last name, so that's kind of awkward. But, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, and off a rose. Let's just, we're just gonna set this up. Okay, so they can go to bed about now. So let's have him go to sleep. And she can go to sleep. So there we go. Both gonna sleep in the same bed. Oh, does she not want to sleep in the same bed as him? Okay, so what we're gonna have to do, I think, to seal this deal is woohoo. Okay, so she'll woohoo with him, but she won't sleep in the same bed. Well, maybe they will now. Okay, so now that they, they should be able to sleep in the same bed. That's that's the hope. Okay, now they're both fast asleep. We're gonna skip through into the morning. Sleep and sleep. Okay, let's go to sleep. I want to be able to go to fast forward mode. So you exit that too. You're not that energized. Go to sleep now. There we go. Someone here? Someone on our lot? That's weird. Okay, let's let's auto lights uh, all lights. There we go. I don't know why it's not all like super speeding right now. Maybe there's an alien watching us. Oh God, guys, aliens. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and if you guys are in the UK, thanks for staying up either super late or waking up super early. <laughs> okay, so it's almost time for work in a couple of hours. They're going to be heading off to work, and we're going to be able to see how that goes. I'm very interested. We're going to go through the detective career first, and then the doctor one the next day. Um, but you guys, we are over half an hour into this live stream already. This has been so much fun. If you guys are enjoying yourself, let's let's do a hashtag like spike. So if you guys haven't liked the stream or the video yet, make sure you guys do slap that like button. If you did, comment down below hashtag like spike to spread like awareness for likes all around. Okay, so now that we're we're super skipping, come on, super skipping. Okay, so let's use the toilet. We're gonna get them ready for work. We're gonna follow him. So we want to make sure he's 100% ready. Uh, have breakfast, scrambled eggs. Oh, so we got some new options. We got bake. Breadsticks, premixed brownies, sugar, uh, sugar cookies. Um, what else is there? Is there anything else that we can cook? Um, anything updated that I see? Nothing at cooking level one. Okay, so let's just make sure he's ready for work. She does have to work earlier than him, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna just have her go tinkle as soon as she can. And there we go. So she starts working an hour. We're gonna just have her not open this. Let's have her have a quick meal of maybe some cereal, just something she can quickly down. Uh, he's actually pretty hungry. He didn't eat at all yesterday, so we're going to have him mix up these scrambled eggs for himself. Try to get his cooking skill up a little bit. What the heck? Did she just set that on the other side of the wall? Okay, so now you can uh, resume mac and cheese. You're never going to be able to finish that in time. I'm not going to lie. Busy's hotel shift, or hospital shift, is about to start now. Care to join her? Uh, send alone. Okay, so she's going to go alone today. So this is how going alone is... Um, let's see what she can do. I know there's new options. So she can actually, um, socialize with coworkers and actually make friends. That's a new to the update. Um, now I wonder if she can even get promoted if she works hard all day. I really wonder. Uh, clean up. Let's clean this up after he's done eating. He's got to go to work any second now. And there we go. He washed up all the dishes. Now you ready for work? He is. He showered, but yet he's not super clean. Okay. So go to work. We're going to join him. So we're going to join uh, ener Energized Body here uh, as a detective today. We're going to see how this works. So basically we sent um, his girlfriend out to work by herself. She's a doctor. We could go to work with her. So basically to get promoted, I think you actually have to go to work with him. Like right now he wants to go to work twice. Like we, he wants us to go to work twice with him. And she wants us to go three times. It's time to start fighting crime. First things first, use a computer to get a case assignment. Okay, so right now... You basically really want to utilize the day as much as possible. Um, let's see, where do we have a spare computer? I'm trying to see if we can find one. Okay, we do have some spare computers right here. What's this? Analyze evidence. Oh, that's an analyzer. Okay, holy crap. Guys, I don't know if there's a computer available here. All these people are hogging them. I want to <laughs> browse, please file paperwork, get a case assignment. Okay, let's have him come in here. So basically, it's like having a party. You want to do a certain amount of things in a certain amount of time. I'm trying to see if I'm missing any computers. Let's pause this. Go up here. I don't see any computers. I see a gym, a break room. Okay, so this is what it kind of looks like here, you guys, as a as a detective. It looks like you have a computer in the corner back here. 
um, a bathroom, some holding cells where some Sims are spending their times, some interrogation rooms. Okay. I don't see a computer, though. I definitely don't. Can I go to... No, I can't. Okay, so I can't add a computer. Um, let's, let's see if we can talk to this person and have them discuss case theories. Let's call over oh, here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Never mind. Never mind. We're going to just get a case assignment now. Go, go, go. Get your case assignment. What are you doing? Okay, so he's coming in to get his case assignment. So he does work until 5 p.m. So basically it's like a full work day. We can just work with him. So right now he's getting a case assignment. So we have a case and then maybe we're going to go out on patrols. This is awesome. I love this. This is so unique. Like, The Sims have never done this before, so this is amazing. Like, Maybe with Showtime in The Sims 3, you got to kind of do a career. Um, assist with a crime scene investigation. You need to learn the ropes before you can handle running your own case. You'll start by assisting a veteran detective with a crime scene investigation. Use the crime map to travel to the tr crime scene. Okay, so we got the, the crime. So travel to the crime scene. The crime map can be used to go to the crime scene. Well, where is the crime map? That's all I have to know. Oh, is it this? Okay, it is. Uh, travel to crime scene. So there must be multiple crime scenes each day. You just travel to them, you, you work, and you, you be successful. That That's the goal. <laughs> okay. This is this is a lot better than the last careers. I don't know. They Every time they run an expansion, they got to make more careers. I, I have to say that much. At the crime scene, you can find clues that will help you track down a suspect, investigate damaged or stolen objects, and search for clues on the ground nearby to uncover more evidence. Also, talk with witnesses to get a report about what happened. Okay, so we got to search for clues on the ground. This looks like a clue. Is this a clue? Collect evidence sample. Let's take evidence picture. So it's a gnome. Guys, this is the gnome killer. <laughs> okay, so collect clues at the crime scene. Get a report with, from a witness and take pictures at the crime scene. So we took a picture, and now we can collect the evidence sample. Uh, so as you guys can see, we're slowly trying to, to make this work day successful. So now we got a sample. Now we got to find more evidence. Okay, so where is the evidence, guys? Is this evidence? Search for clues. No, that doesn't look like evidence. Let's head inside. Do we see anything else, guys? This is like playing Blue's Clues. Blue. Oh, we got more graffiti, guys. Let's take a picture and then collect the evidence. And then we got more here. Let's take a picture and collect the evidence, guys. Then we got to get a report from the witness. Oh, we've got another one here. Let's collect the evidence. Um, then we got to find a witness. So we got a lot of cops here. They're all doing their best to uh, bring this criminal to justice. We don't know who it is, and we don't know what they did. <laughs> but we're going to bring them to justice. We promise you that much. So right now we're just taking pictures. Lots of graffiti, basically, on the ground. Hmm. So we put the evidence in our inventory. We're going to have to bring it back to the detective house here. Okay, so we took a crime, and it's been added. Okay, so now our photos are done. Now we just got to collect some more clues. So collect more clues at the crime scene. Here's one right here, guys. Let's collect evidence sample. This will be the last clue. Then we have to find someone that we can interrogate. So here we go. Uh, let's take a witness report from her. Now, who is this? Who is this? Dinah Clientine. Clientine. She looks suspicious. I don't know, guys. We're going to ask her. An evidence sample has been added. Okay, so now we're going to have to return to the police station after we get this. Now, you tell me what happened. As much as you recall... Hmm, this is so awesome. <laughs> Does he have a warrant? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so we have the witness report. Uh, Dina didn't provide much, but maybe it will fit into the case somewhere. Okay, so now we just got to return to the police station. So when you're ready, click on your sim and return to the police station. Okay, so return to the police station. Uh, the crime scene will be cleaned up once you leave, and you will be unable to return. You should, now, should we go above and beyond, you guys? Should we maybe take multiple witness reports? I think we should. This first day, we should go above and beyond. This is our first day on duty. I'm ready to go above and beyond, okay? <laughs> okay, so, and we're going to find more clues. I'm collecting all the evidence. He must not have been any help. A witness report has been added. Alice didn't provide much. Well, what about this guy? Who's this? Eric? Eric, you're a witness. I'm going to ask you questions. Now you're kind of annoyed with me, but I'm a cop. It's my job. Okay, so another witness. Eric provided some valuable information on that crime, on the crime. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's just make sure there's no other clues. Okay, so I don't see anything else. Let's go upstairs. There's another clue, so let's collect a, more evidence. 
Uh, this all looks like the same to me. Wait, what's this? Is this different? This looks different, guys. This is different. Let's take an evidence picture. We're going to do it. Okay. I, I just want to make sure. I don't want any unsolved murders on my hand. Okay, we we got a llama picture. We got a gnome picture. Okay, so that's the only graffiti I really haven't seen before. Did you guys see that? A broken stereo. Dust for fingerprints, guys. We found a broken stereo. This isn't good. I think we're getting to the bottom of this. <laughs> okay, so let's let's see. Let's dust this. Her fingerprints here. Hmm. And there's a TV that's broken too, and a computer. Hmm. This isn't good, guys. We're gonna get to the bottom. A fingerprint sample has been added to your inventory. Um, collect evidence sample or dust for fingerprints. And let's dust this for fingerprints too, and then we'll be good to go. We just want to make sure there's no fingerprints, nothing that we're missing. Okay, so now that we're good to go, I think we're gonna head back to the police station. We have a ton of evidence. So let's return. The crime scene is closed. I, I feel like we, we did our job. I feel like we, uh, we went the extra mile as a detective. Um, there's a third floor. Oh, I didn't even check the third floor. No. Well, I think we got enough. We got enough. Pretty sure we did. I hope we did. Okay, so we're returning to the police station. Now that you've gathered evidence from the crime scene, it's time to start tracking down a suspect. Use the chemical analyzer and the computer to evaluate the evidence you found at the crime scene. There's a chance you'll discover some information about the crime committed. Okay, so what we're going to have to do now is evaluate this. So let's analyze evidence. Um, let's fingerprint. Let's analyze this this fingerprint evidence. And, and we're going to hope to find something with these fingerprint files we have. Okay, let's see. So, do we have anything? Do we have a match? Do we? Please give me a match. Nice work! Analyzing evidence from the crime scene allows you to discover clues about the suspect. Once you're running your own case, you'll have to analyze lots of evidence before you can find the suspect. For now, use a computer to file the crime scene evidence so that the senior detective can take over. Okay, so the analyst has provided a useful clue about the crime. Okay, so now what we have to do is just you know, come on the computer over here. We're going to call over our fellow detective. Our fellow police officer, I should say. And hopefully she gets off the computer. I want you to get your call over. Okay, so she got off. She always gets off. Um, file paperwork, file crime scene evidence. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, here we go. No, no, no. She's going to take the computer. Hey! That was our computer. They gotta have more computers here. Mm, all these people look like they're actually working. Let's give a friendly introduction to this girl. Maybe she'll leave. Okay, let's see if we can, uh... Let's, let's see if we can pull her off this computer somehow. This is the only problem I've come across. Pulling people off the computer. That's kind of funny. Um... Come on, someone get off. Someone get off the computer. <laughs> they're like, nah. Nah, bro, we're fine. We're going to stay here all day. I could stay here all day on the computer. Um, ask if single? No. Let's um, give a funny introduction to this guy. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. File crime scene evidence. We're not going to talk to him. Psych! <laughs> Thanks for the computer. Okay, so now our work shift is halfway over. So as you guys can see, the work days are actually pretty long. And that's kind of fun. Because you have a lot of stuff to do to make a successful work day. First day in the forest, ready to learn the ropes, rookie! You'll be introduced to a variety of tasks that will help to maintain law and order and improve the quality of life. Good work. The evidence you found will be helpful to the detective in in charge of the case. Um, once you get your own case, you'll have to follow up the, on the evidence yourself. Tomorrow you'll learn about the next steps in the case. For now, take some time to help process criminals here at the station. Okay, so now we just got to process criminals? Take mug shots at the booking station. Search criminals at the booking station. Get criminals fingerprints at the booking station. Uh, is this the booking station? Take a mug shot of her. Why not? Okay, so we, we do a lot of stuff here. And we can process our little criminals here. And as you can see, we got people visiting their, their loved ones that are in here. Oh, she's actually an officer. She must be undercover. But look at these people. They're in jail. Guys, I wonder if our sims can go to jail. And what would we do when they're in jail? That's that's what I'm curious about. Okay, so let's fast forward this a little bit. So we're pulling her out of her cell right now. 
And she's going to follow us to the mugshot area. Oh, God. Uh, okay, so now that we got that taken, so we got a mugshot. We can fingerprint her as well. And then search uh, her as well. So we can get all that going. Okay, it's time to get fingerprinted. Okay, so she's coming over here to get fingerprinted now. And there, she's analyzed. Or we keep fingerprinting her, I don't know why. Uh, what are we doing? We're searching her. Oh, we're gonna see if we find any contraband now. This is a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Being a detective is pretty sick. Okay, so... Or this is taking a while to search her. He's really taking his time, guys. Um, I'm guessing we can find anything? We're gonna not chat with her. Let's. That that doesn't sound good. Let's let's take a mugshot of this guy. I'll uh, lock and cell. Actually, we should probably lock him in the cell first. Time to go in the cell. Time to go in the cell. <laughs> Come on. Well, after we get him in here. Uh oh, we got we got him coming out here now. We have two prisoners to handle. Hopefully, we can handle these two guys. Um, then we're gonna search uh, him as well. Let's run her back to the cell really quick, though. And then we're gonna search this criminal. Wait, where is he going? We don't want him to get get away. We do not want him to get away. No, no, no. Okay, come on, it's time to search you. Okay, so it's almost 5 p.m., guys. It's 4 p.m. already. Energetics work day will end in one hour. He should wrap up what he's doing. Each work day can be extended once by clicking on the event timer. Click this button to leave work early or stay late. Wait. Or to stay late. Uh, stay late. Okay, so we're going to stay until 7 p.m. We really are enjoying work today. Uh, we're going to go talk to the chief. I think the chief has his own office and he's in here. Um, so let's just uh, give a friendly introduction to our boss. So you guys can stay late for work from at work. That's awesome. So if you're a really big worker and you don't want to go home, you can just keep working. You can just you can only stay late once per day. It's not like you can stay till midnight, but you know we're pulling some overtime right now. I wonder if we make more money. Okay, so right now we're gonna chit chat with with the chief here. Okay, so let's discuss interests. Okay, so I want to talk to the chief here. Is this the chief? Talk to Chief. Okay, here we go. Body, are you originally from Sunset Valley? Well, I didn't. I don't know how many things work over, or how things work over there in the valley, but over here we follow a little thing called the chain of command. Oh, we're not supposed to talk to her. Discuss case theories with coworkers. Okay, sorry. Um. Okay, so let's go discuss case theories over here with our coworkers. Okay, sorry, Chief. Okay, so we're discussing case theories. Perfect. Um, take a police report from a civilian. Exercise for one hour. Browse the police database. Um, I don't think there's any computers open. They really need more computers. Oh, there's one right here. Um, let's see. Browse the police database. I wonder what this is like. I wonder what you could do with this. <laughs> okay. So we're browsing the database. I don't know if you can find out dirt about other sims. Okay, so we browsed it. It's It's browsed. Okay, so it's about to end. I don't think we can extend it. <laughs> you can click this to leave work or stay late. Um, leave work early. Okay, that's our only option now. So you can only stay late once. Let's uh, actually use this toilet at the end of our work shift and then maybe take a shower because it'll be free here. And it's a good way to end the work day. So that was a really successful work day. I'm not going to lie. I wonder if this is going to have a big impact on our career and performance since we did pretty much everything. We have we have like a golden work day. <laughs> It's like fully green, so I'm hoping that really benefits us. Okay, let's take a shower. Showering after a long, hard day at work. We earned $234. He did a fantastic job at work today. There may be a shiny, shinier badge and a new title in his future. Okay, so now he's pretty much got to go home. So like, right, boom, you don't drive home on your own. It's just boom, you're home. Okay, so we learned something. Now we're going to go check out the businesses that exist and kind of browse those. And then in the morning, we're going to go to work as a doctor and see how that work day is. Okay, so let's go check his performance. Oh, wow. He's ready to get promoted after one day working with him. Okay, so now let's look at the sim that we sent to work on our own. Eh, you know, she did okay. So, basically, I think going to work is really going to benefit, you know, you and the sim a lot. 
let's have him serve some dinner when we're gone and make some frank and beans. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to manage worlds, just manage worlds, and we are going to check on those businesses. I kind of want to look at them and see what they're all about. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm leaning over here. I'm just comfortable. There we go. Okay, so let's go to Mangolia Promenade. This is the new city if you guys are just joining us. So there's three businesses. This is the most expensive. So let's check this one out first. We're going to go in build mode and just kind of give it a look-see. Um, but you guys, we are like 50 minutes into the stream already. If you guys are enjoying yourself, let's do a hashtag like spike. Did you like that voice card? Hashtag like spike. So if you guys haven't liked the video or the stream yet, make sure you guys do slap that like button. If you did, comment down below. Hashtag like spike. Spread like awareness for likes all around. Okay, so let's see. Let me see if I can... I can probably move this. What the heck? There we go. There, that's better. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this. So right when you walk in, you got a cashier right up here. So this is basically some cupboards or counters with uh, just like this new bar thing that they added to the game. Uh, and then they got some bathrooms, because you need bathrooms for Sims to use. And I'm curious, they have, oh, gender equal doors. Okay. Let's, let's put the walls up here really quick. So as you guys can see, there's some new shelving. A lot of new wall art that you guys can look. And that's a new mirror. So tons of new stuff. And this appears to be some type of furniture store right here. So this is pretty cool. And yeah, just more furniture. And this is the display cases. So now you can walk by the street and just see like all this store has to offer. And then over here, I think they actually, yes, they sell clothes. So as you guys can see, some new mannequins. And you can actually pick the outfit that's on the mannequin. So you can be your own little fashionista. And then you got these lovely display windows. People can walk by, look at everything. Some nice candles. Do they have a try-on room? I don't know if they need one. Yeah, they have this little mirrored room for try-on. Um, another mirrored room for try-on. And then nice little seating areas. And then just little stacks of clothes that Sims can buy. So that's really interesting. I, I really like this. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the world map and check out the other two stores. And then we're going to do the Dr. Career. And <laughs> hashtag voice crack. Okay, so this one's the second most expensive business you can pre-buy without building your own business. Now, you don't have to build your business in uh, Mongolia Promenade. You can build it in, you know, Oasis Springs or Willow Creek. Um, it doesn't really matter. So, as you guys can see, this is, like, a little bit better of a clothing store. they got tons of stuff on the walls with tons of different outfit options. Now, I'm guessing you can just design, like, what you want on this shelf... You know, just by clicking on it and, and setting outfits. And then the same with the mannequins. Now they have a big cashier area with lots of candles. I guess candles are key in retail. And then this little statue, which actually holds, like, anything you want to put on it. Which I think is awesome. It's like a perfume sampler. And then they got the little display windows. Beautiful. Love it. A mirror. And then this actually has an upstairs. I wonder what's up here. Oh, more clothing. Okay, so just, just a little more clothing. Nice design to it. Got a nice balcony. Let's go down. Do they have a bathroom here? They do. They have a try-on room and a bathroom. Try-on room's pretty sick. Gotta like the try-on room. And then that bathroom's cool. A lot of new wall art, guys. Tons of new wall art. Let's go check out the cheapest of all the businesses. This one's about $79,000 that we're about to head into. So they're pretty expensive. Your Sims would have to be pretty well off to have a business. Um, unless they built their own. I think building your own is the way to go anyways. These are cool, but, you know, building your own is always funner. Um, so, okay, so we got, what is this? Oh, it looks like this just sells miscellaneous stuff like toys. So tons of toys, new kids stuff. Look at this. Very, very cool. The ghost gnome. Okay. It's so tons of toys, little books and knickknacks. So just, just tons of little knickknacks. Uh, this, this store wouldn't make a ton of money because there's probably not a giant profit margin in toys. But they do have a little bathroom um, for you to use. And then they do have an upstairs but it's just storage. So basically, it's make what you want to make out of it. Um, it looks like a refrigerator, so this might be like an employee-only area. But you could you could definitely make it whatever you want. But this is really cool, guys. Look at all the new shelving they have. And look at all the different levels you can put the shelving on. Like, that's really cool. Like, they're just they're perfectly spaced. Um, and you got all these new cabinets. All this new shelving. Look at how low some of the shelving goes. Or some of these tables or display cases go. Really awesome. Love it. Okay, so let's back up. Go back up. So now you can build your own business. Let's just go to this this lot for now, this empty one. I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff they have to offer. So 
Um, let's just build here just like a random wall for now and just kind of do some stuff. <laughs> it's more fun. I know I said funner, okay? Funner is now a word. I just, I just made it a word. Okay, so. Well, Mongolia actually has some stuff to do. It's got a park and stuff. Okay. Um, okay, so now let's, we're just going to do something random really quick. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do, just build a wall. Just any wall, just, you know, just a wall. You know, boom. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we are going to just paint this any color. I just want to get this painted. Um, white, actually, if we can get white, like a whitish base. just want to be able to kind of point out. Yeah, okay, so now we can go look at all the new stuff. So with this, we're going to kind of look at some of the new wall, like, stuff there's so much new look at all this stuff <laughs> oh my god so many new decorations so let's look at some of the new wall stuff now obviously tons of new wall things and they come in all sorts of colors like you know um, they come in like literally like you can change this so many so many different colors like just customize your heart away um, look at all these new signs you guys oh my god and and the color options you guys are literally endless like just do oh this one doesn't color and I don't think that one colors. Just look at all these new signs though. This is this is really awesome. A little cake for a bakery. If you're running a little bakery and you know you wanna you wanna have little cake signs everywhere and look at this if you're having a little collector shop. Pretty much do anything you want, guys. Like they literally did not limit us in this game. They're like pretty much do what you want. Create what you want. This is the Sims. Um, okay, so that one you can't do anything with. What's this? Okay, so it looks like a little waitress. And look at the kind of placement you guys can do. I think the placement's really impressive. Like, I can literally just, you know, I can squeeze that in there. And you can literally do so much different stuff with the placement. Like, it's pretty crazy the the way they've allowed us to customize everything. And, it, oh, look at this. I can even lay this girl on top of that. So if I want to make my own little logo, it, it's doable. Obviously, it looks a little glitchy there. But, okay, so now let's check out all this stuff guys literally just there's so much stuff and does this come in different colors no it doesn't okay I was gonna say I would be surprised if that does and that doesn't either okay and then you have all this new stuff because you know the scientist career and and all that oh wow this comes in different colors as well so there's there's so much new stuff you can do and it's really impressive I'm not gonna lie all the new stuff wow look at this big ad okay got this little rocket ship blasting off and Look at this little like mural painting or like this continue. I like I like paintings like this Just continues and continues and continues um, And then we have this bad boy blasting off into outer space um, Okay, so that's all the new paintings uh, Let's let's actually clear up this wall now and see what other Artistic things we can throw in the game. This is so awesome you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very excited to have all these new items um, Okay, so some new decorative plants, just, you know, just nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing too special. Just you do got some new stuff if you want it. Um, and then we got some new mirrors, of course. You got this really cool mirror that I love. I'm gonna be using that mirror quite a bit. Now, yeah, it doesn't have any color <laughs> upgrades. Obviously, it's a mirror. Um, okay, so let's go to. Okay, okay. Look at this, you guys. You can put these over your little display windows. Now you got even blinds. Oh my god, you got blinds. This is awesome. Okay, I love that. Okay, I, I can get behind that for sure. Okay, so little awnings, little blinds. Um, what else do we have? Some new sculptures. Oh, that's not new. That's that's old. <laughs> okay, so let's go look at this. Oh, we got the crates. And that's like empty space. What's this? What is this? Incredible medical instruments. Oh, <laughs> it's medical utensils. Okay, and these are just empty crates for show. Uh, and then we got some new rugs. Some cool little rugs here. Oh, whoops, I want to just use R. Here we go. Look at that. Look at all the different colors you can do with these rugs. Okay, and then we got uh, this rug, which is also new and comes in different colors. It kind of looks like a grate, in my opinion. That's cool, though. It's cool. I'm not going to knock it. Okay, so two new rugs. Um, what else do we have? Ah, okay, so now it's time for the new signs. Okay, so we got all these signs, as you would expect in business. A uh, hand-washing station, a uh, paper towel dispenser, a uh, fire extinguisher. Um, I don't Is that a light? 
Is this a light chrome wall panel? Okay. Uh, electricity. Um, a, a fire escape, basically, or exit. Wow, look at all this stuff, you guys. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, so you can pretty much just... Wow, okay, so there's some archways, and then you got some little diplomas and more signs. Okay, so that's all the new signage, as you guys can see. Pretty sick. Awesome, awesome. And obviously, all of them probably do color changing through the swatch. Uh, let's just delete all this stuff. I don't know. This is just cool for design, a lot of this stuff. Um, okay, so now, miscellaneous, we have this little <laughs> half man, half boy, or half body. Like, I don't know. It's for a doctor's office, I'd imagine. Then you got this little IV for the doctor's office. Uh, this cabinet. Uh, and then we got a new rolling book shelf. What's that? I'm guessing this is like for waste in a doctor's office. A magazine stand and ooh, a nice new sculpture. Okay, so that's all the decorations. Um, we do have some new lighting. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Nothing too impressive. Um, oh, this one's new, but it's locked, so you're gonna have to unlock that. Some new ground lighting. Oh, wow, that's cool. Okay, so when you're building your business front, you can add some new sexy business lighting. Then we have all this new lighting, which you know, pretty cool. I, I, I can always get behind some lighting. Okay, so now that we're through all the lighting, you know, that's that's just the average of whatever. Um, we're not going to go through everything because they literally added so much stuff, guys. I did in the beginning kind of run through all the stuff they added, so if you want to check that out. Um, but we're going to be experimenting with a lot of this stuff basically in my Let's Play that I'll be starting tomorrow. So let's just, you know, delete this. Boom. Okay, so let's leave this lot. And... We're going to move on and go do the doctor career tomorrow now in the morning. So we're going to go to sleep. Um, let's go over here and get back to where we are living. And go back to our household. Okay, so we're going to follow Busybody tomorrow as she's a doctor. Um, and hopefully <laughs> see what it's like being a doctor. Okay. So um, it is 7 o'clock at night. What what are you doing, Energetic? Okay, Energetic's going to be cooking for his... his you know, lo romantic interest. Now, what is she up to? She could probably watch a little bit of TV. Uh, let's watch some comedy television. And, oh, he only cooked for himself. Wow. How selfish. Energetic, that's extremely selfish. <laughs> He's like, I know, I'm, I'm hungry. Okay. Come over here, Busy. We're going to quickly feed you. Um, let's serve dinner. Franks and Means. Something really quick and easy. Okay, you guys are talking enough. Stop watching TV. Quickly eat. It is 9.30. Now, we're going to send, you know, Energetic on his on his way to work by himself tomorrow. She's got to eat, and then we're going to have her go to sleep. She does work at 7 in the morning. I really like the work shifts. I think it's so much fun going to work with your sim. Uh, let's use that and take a shower in the morning. She'll be good to go for work tomorrow, and we're going to follow her through the doctor career. We might not get to the scientist career. I really want to, but I don't want this to run too late for you guys. Um, but I really do want to get to the scientist career and see what that's like. Um, uh, the live stream tomorrow is probably going to be at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's 5 p.m. Eastern. And that is about you know 9 to 10 p.m. Um, for you guys in the U.K. Uh, it's going to be really cool, though. And it's only going to be about a half hour to 40 minutes. Because uh, I don't want the episodes to be too long because I don't want you guys to miss out if you miss one stream. So... <laughs> Zooming through the sky, little Einstein's. Okay, so she's got to go to work very soon. Let's check. Okay, so she's pretty good with everything. We could have her have a quick meal of some cereal when she's out of the shower. If she has time, it's going to be close. She's going to be cutting it close. Uh, I wonder if he goes to work. I wonder if Energetic goes to work on his own if we're already gone to work, you know, with Busybody over here. Uh, I'm kind of curious about that. We're going to have to see. Uh, we're going to join her at work. Here we go. So she's off to work. We get to be a doctor now. We were already a detective. That was a lot of fun. I think I think that's going to be one of my favorites. But let's see. We're going to be a doctor. We're going to see if that's just as fun. I like investigating and, 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 and trying to convict people. Welcome, busybody, to a vital and rewarding career in the field of medicine. Uh, being new to the job, it takes some time getting familiarized with the location, the people, and the basic responsibilities of the profession. In time, um, with skill, dedication, and a passion to help her fellow sims, Busy will no doubt go far in her career. Okay. Agree two co-workers deliver food to a patient on the exam bed. 
Okay, so let's greet two co-workers. So she is a co-worker. So we're going to uh, friendly introduce ourselves over here. And then we can um, give ourselves a funny introduction over here. Okay, so now that that's done, we got to deliver food. So let's take a look at the hospital here. We got our nice reception area, TV, magazines, all that good stuff, little kids play area. We got some patient beds over here with some sick sims, some operating rooms. Um, it looks like some analyst labs. What's this? Oh, that's an exercise thing. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's an x-ray scan. Okay. And then we can we have this, perform a treadmill test. Then we got the food over here uh, for our break room and then our own little workout place. So basically, we can do so much stuff at work, guys. It's pretty crazy. So how do we deliver food? Uh, six Sims need to eat too. Make sure to deliver food to a hungry patient on the exam bed in a timely manner. Okay, so what we're going to do is come over here, buy a snack, a pastry. Or actually, should I just click the patient? Because I should make sure... See how we do this. Okay, so let's click click this person and let's deliver food. Okay, so here we go. We're going to deliver food to little Derek here. Okay, so Derek, we got you some food here, buddy. And it's a little hospital meal. Okay, there you go. He is eating. Now we just got to chat with our coworkers. So let's go uh, give ourselves an intro over here and grab a snack between scene patients. Mop up a puddle. Okay, so we're going to have to find a puddle now. That's <laughs> going to be unique. Uh, hopefully we can find one of those. But this is kind of crazy. You're helping people. You're helping Sims. This is awesome. Okay, so let's go to Friendly and get to know our fellow doctors here. She's a doctor. We're only uh, a medical intern, so she's very impressive. Uh, okay, so let's exit that. Okay, so discuss uh, work with coworker. Oh, okay, we can do that. Um... No, 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 no. Now, where can we find discuss work? Probably missed it. It's probably over here. Group activities. No more choices. No, no, no. Praise about work ethic. No. Pretend to fire. Spoil last episode. <laughs> Spoil the last episode. Um. Okay, that's kind of funny. Ask about salary. Complain about work. Discuss interest. Discuss work. Here we go. So we're gonna discuss work with our fellow doctor here. Okay, so there, we got that done. And we're going to leave her alone. We don't want her to... Oh, God, ask about coworkers' day. Really? Why do we need to know our coworker so much? <laughs> we got to ask about her salary. No, ask about her day. We got to just... Just got to play cool. We can't just be asking about salaries. Okay, so we asked about her day. We're, we're slowly trying to do something here. Okay, we're not going to chat with the coworker right now. I feel like that's going in circles. So we're going to buy a snack and let's eat just... Let's, let's just have a soda. And we're not living that healthy life, though. <laughs> we're, we're a doctor. We, I mean, we're a, an intern, so we should try to live that healthy life. Admit patient to exam bed. Okay, I don't know if there's an exam bed open. Oh, there is. There's two. Oh, no, there's three. And we can't treat these patients, can we? Treat bloaty head with a shot. I don't know if we should. They don't tell us to. Okay, so we're going to grab this soda really quick. And then we have to mop up a puddle. I don't know if we're going to find a puddle, though. Um, get a quick bite from the fridge to keep your sim from getting hungry. I don't know if that... I guess the soda... Okay, it does count as a snack. I was going to say, maybe it doesn't count. Um, okay, so now we got to mop up a puddle and chat with a co-worker. So let's tell her a funny story, and we're going to have the chat with a co-worker done. Then we just got to find a puddle, which is going to be kind of hard to find, I think. I'm assuming. Someone's got to pee their pants or something, right? Complain about work to a co-worker. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Why would we do that? Why would we do We love work. We, we, we Okay, we're going to complain about work since it's one of our tasks, but I just feel like that's going to have a negative effect. Oh, she liked it. She's like, yeah, I hate work too. Okay, chat with coworkers again. Tell a joke about monkeys and maybe praise work ethic because she's a hard worker. We're slowly, we're in the silver right now, guys. We're trying to get in the gold. So we're trying to find puddles too. I'm trying. I'm really trying. I don't see any puddles, though. Uh, okay, so we're slowly chit-chatting here. Okay, so we got that done. So the doctor one hasn't been as eventful. Have a cup of coffee. We're gonna... We don't need to extend our... Discuss work with co-worker. So let's do that. So this, this job so far has just been a lot of talking, trying to get our stuff done. They didn't give us any doctor tasks to do. 
guess it's probably because we're not a doctor. <laughs> they didn't tell us to treat a patient or anything. I'm trying to stick to what they're telling us to do, because that's how we're going to have success in this. Okay, so we're gold now, so we can kind of just do whatever we want right now. Um, I think what we're going to do is maybe examine a patient, discuss general health. So let's talk. It looks like the doctors are kind of going slow here. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to try to help these patients out. Okay, even though we're not a doctor, we're just an intern, so we might, we probably shouldn't be doing this, but we're going to try to help. Okay, because we want to help. That's that's our goal. So we, we, we examine him. We're going to uh, maybe treat him with, uh, treat bloaty head with a shot. Okay. Patient cured. The vaccine for Derek uh, was successful and illness treated. Busy correctly diagnosed the issue, improving job performance. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I can I could deal with that, guys. I could deal with that a lot. <laughs> I could really get behind that. Okay, so let's see. So now that he's treated, we could try to treat more Sims, but I feel like that's risky. Um, examine patient. The patient has already been diagnosed. Uh, prescribe prescribe medication for gas and giggles. Okay, so she's already been diagnosed. I can just help out the doctor by giving her her stuff. Okay, so Busy's trying right now. She's trying to prescribe some medicine for her. Rokifa. There we go. Really Look at this, you guys. This is awesome. Ugh. We're helping the Sims. We're just helping them. Go and she is cured. We cured another Sim. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the doctor's with her. Okay, let, let's admit these Sims to a bed. Um, I think we have a few more we can admit. So let's admit as many as we possibly can. So a couple at a time we'll do. Um, admit patient to a bed. Okay, come on. We're trying to get everyone in a bed here. The doctor's got to see you guys. And then we'll admit her, and then we'll admit him. There's a lot of sick sibs, you guys. So we're just trying to get them all in their beds and all ready for examination from a nurse or a doctor. I'm guessing she's a nurse. She is a nurse. Okay. And there we go. Uh-oh. Okay. We're gonna... We gotta be careful. We don't want to get sick. I wonder if doctor sims get sick more often. That's a question I have now. <laughs> that is. But you guys, we are of uh, another, we already are like an hour and 15 minutes into this live stream. If you guys are enjoying yourself, let's do a hashtag like spike. So if you guys don't know what a hashtag like spike is, basically if you haven't liked the video or the live stream yet, make sure you guys do. And if you did, comment down below hashtag like spike to spread like awareness for likes all around. Now what we're going to do is we are going to stay late today like we did yesterday for our detective work. And we're going to mop up the puddle. Thanks for telling me the puddles in the gym, guys. I didn't see that, so thank you a lot. I don't know if we can admit him. So, yeah, we can't admit him. We're not going to chat with him. We're going to try to we're gonna try to mop up this puddle before work's over. So we have two and a half hours left. We're going to mop up this puddle in the gym. And there we go. So now that that's done, we can probably have a cup of coffee, actually. Take it a little easy. <laughs> then we should probably chat with a patient. Oh, we're mopping up multiple puddles here. There must be puddles everywhere. There's puddles for days. Where is she? Oh, wow. Okay. So now we're going to go have some coffee. She's on the move, you guys. She is running. She needs to stay energized, so we're going to get her some coffee. Um, I like that they have food and everything at work, too, so you can just stay stay good throughout the day. Um, okay, I wonder if doctors can pull really ridiculous hours, too. That's, that's something I have to question now, too. Okay, have a cup of coffee. So we're going to drink our cup of coffee. And then we are going to... Okay, so her work a day is over in one hour. Um, we are going to come over here and tell an engaging story. As we're sipping on our cup of coffee. And there we go. Okay, stop that. You should ju jug or chug this cup of coffee. Uh, ask coworker about her day. Jesus, this one keeps coming over. Um, friendly, uh, ask about day. Okay, wash hands to sterilize the germs. Well, we're about to head home. We got a lot done today. We helped a lot of patients, too. Now, there is a ton of patients here that have to be... So, the red heart must mean they were diagnosed, and we know what's wrong with them, and the blue heart means they haven't been diagnosed yet. Busy did a fantastic job today. Promotions are uh, and community health are surely in the future. Okay, so we're going to check her work performance now. Um... <laughs> Move the face cam. The face cam. Oh, you want the face cam in the other section. Oh. Um, I'll move it next time. I forgot about that. There's not much going on here anyways in this in the general area behind my face cam. Uh, okay, so he did go to work. Okay, I just wanted to make sure of that. He's back home already. Let's check her work performance. Okay, that's awesome. So you guys, this 
is The Sims 4 Get to Work. We pretty much did everything except Scientist, which I'll have in my series this Thursday, so I hope to see you guys then. If you guys did enjoy, let's do another hashtag like spike to end this thing off. So if you guys did enjoy the stream, make sure you do give it that big old like. And if you did, comment down below, hashtag like spike, to spread like awareness for likes all around. Now you guys, um, <laughs> tell me what you think of this expansion pack. I think it's awesome. Tell me what you think between a rating of 1 in 10, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, and we'll go from there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, remember to take it easy, live and squeezy. Goodbye, guys.